Okay, let's see how we can build a very simple door that opens and closes when you touch it. Let's start off by uh, creating a cube. That'll be part of our door frame. And I'm going to do a little bit of uh, positioning here. I'll put it at position 240 because it's easy to work with. We'll make it uh, 2 meters wide, tenth of a meter deep, 4 meters high. Uh, drag it up a little bit so it's level with the ground. Hold down shift and drag to create a copy. And position that roughly by hand and we'll just make sure it's exact by typing the value in. So there's now a 2 meter width between them. Uh, I'm going to hold down shift again and drag upwards to take another copy which we're going to rotate around the y-axis and then we're going to position it by hand into position 242 to get it in the middle and increase its length to 6 meters and then drag it up a bit so it starts looking a little bit like a doorway so we need a door now, let's do that shift and drag again to create a door, position it roughly by hand, put the exact value in here. So now we're getting somewhere, so it's not very nicely textured, but it looks like it might be a door. If we put a value of 90 degrees in here, what happens? What happens is that, which isn't kind of how doors work. It rotates the wrong way around the middle of the, um, of the door, which isn't what you want. So how are we going to fix that? Quite simple. Let's just move this one a little bit out of the way for now. Shift and drag again to copy it then hold down shift and control and drag the little handles to squash it up a bit so I'm going to squash it up to make it look thin like a door frame and then just position it next to that door like that I'm going to link these two objects, I'm going to click on the door first hold down shift and click on that frame we've just created and then press control L to link them so they're now one object and I'm going to move this uh, uh, frame back, this little bit of wood back into position at um, wherever it was, 240 I believe. So, if I now click on my door and put that 90 degrees rotation in, hey, it rotates nicely. Minus 90 degrees goes the other way, back to 0 degrees. We're looking pretty good. Now obviously we don't want to do this by hand, we need to write a piece of script that'll uh, rotate our door, but we're well on the way. Right, write that piece of script. Move to the content tab, press new script, it creates a script for you. I'm going to rename it and call it open dash close which is what we hope it'll do once we've written it double click to open it we get the basic script you always get when you create something from scratch script from scratch I'm going to remove some bits of it keep the touch start part which is the part of code that gets ex executed when uh, the object is touched what I'm going to do is just define a rotation variable and set it to the uh, value of the rotation of the object now rotation variables actually contain four pieces x y z and s um, and these four variables, these four parts, uh, come together to make something called a, a quaternion and it's complicated and we don't care about it. The only important thing is that we need to know what those values are when the door is open and the door is closed. Uh, the only two values we need to care about are the Z value which we've already uh, been playing around with. So let me just set that, uh, get that for you. So I'm going to find a string called Z. I'm going to cast it to a type string and get the Z proportion of the rotation. The other one is the S proportion of the rotation. Now again, don't get bogged down by this. These are just the values we need to be aware of. So what I'm going to do is just display them on channel 0. So I'm going to say Z equals and put the Z value out there and S equals and show what the S value is. So let's, uh, let's save that. So what it will do now is um, uh, when we touch the door it'll show you what the values are of the S and Z portion of the rotation. So let's uh, click it once. We can see that Z is 0 and S is 1. So we need to remember that. Now if we uh, rotate that door to our minus 90 degree position which is open. If we now just move around so we can see it, touch it we can see Z is minus 0 0.707107 and S is positive 0 0.707107. So we need to remember those values. Um, they're kind of weird values, and you know you may be looking at this saying, but when we when we show the values here, it's got 270 degrees or minus 90 degrees. Um, so why isn't why aren't those values being displayed? And there's two reasons for that. One is the values you put in here uh, are just normal x, y, and z. They don't have the s value. Um, 
and also the values you put in here are in degrees, the values in the script are in radians. All of this is stuff we don't really care about. We just want to know what the S and Z value is because now we can use that in our script. So let's get rid of the display part. And all we need to say is if the rotation value if the rotation Z value is currently equal to zero, it means the door is closed and we need to open it. So we saw what happens when the door is open. Z gets equal to minus seven oh seven uh, point 0.707107 and the s value gets set equal to positive 0.707107 otherwise if that isn't true then it must be in the door is already open and we just need to close it so if you remember that meant that the um, z value got set to naught and the s value got set to 1 so what we then need to do is set the local rotation of the object equal to that rotation variable. So let's save and compile that away and see if uh, if it works for us. So our door is currently open, I click it and it closes, I click it again and it opens, click it, it closes, click it, it opens. And uh, that's about it really, it's pretty simple. Um, you can make your door much cleverer than this, you can put a nice texture on it to make it look like a door, you can get it to close after a certain amount of time, you can add a sound to it so it creaks when it opens, I'll leave you to do all that stuff, but this just gives you a bit of a flying start to have your opening and closing door. Hope you enjoyed the video, thank you.